Chapter 16, The Reassessment. For reassessment, we're talking about looking at your patient to see what you did and what the patient how the patient responded. So we're going to look at, uh, for trends, some changes, anything that's going to cause the patient to be worse off, and things that are saying you're doing the right job. So uh, always have to keep reassessing your patient, ABCs over and over, and then uh, keep moving forward. So you're looking for changes, any subtle changes, any obvious changes, anything that says your patient's getting better or worse. You're looking for trends. When we look at vital signs, we, we see the blood pressure go from 120 over 80 to 110 over 60 to 100 over 50. That's a trend that says we're going down. So we're looking for those those changes that form a pattern for us. So we're looking for the, the, the th strange things that are happening out there, saying our patients get it better or worse. You also want to explain to your patient what's going on. Talk to them. Uh, tell them what you're looking for, why you're looking over and over. Understand that your patients are going to be nervous. They don't call 911 because they're having a great day. Uh, they don't want to just... They, they don't just call you to see you because they think they you'd be a fun person to hang out with. They're having an emergency in their life. Whether it's a real emergency to them or not, it's something you need to help take care of. So continually talking to your patient, making sure they understand what's going on, telling them what the changes are and what they're sh showing you. Explain to them they are getting better, that your things are changing for them. Repeat the primary assessment, ABCs. Check their mental status. Remember we talked about documenting the mental status on how they responded to the different stimuli. Document that a second time, a third time, a fourth time. And that's going to tell you how they're doing, if they're getting better or worse. Maintain the airway. If you put the OPA in and you come back for your reassessment, the OPA is doing good. Why not upgrade to a better airway? Go to the uh, eye gel. If the airway is not doing well, maybe you need a suction. Check the breathing. Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? There, it's it's not good if you put your patient on a non-breather and their respiratory rate drops to six. It's not effective. So we have to continually monitor the rate and quality. Pulses. Again, checking all four extremities and the central pulses. Look at your patient's skin color and temperature. And if you have to change the priority in your patient, that's fine. It is okay to say the patient was critical when you started, but now that you've got some uh, time under your belt and with the patient to kind of figure out what's going on, you're, you're confident that they're, they're doing much better. So you can drop downgrade their priority. Or something changed, you say, I need to get to the hospital now. Pediatric, check uh, mental status constantly. I would prefer to have a crying kid because I know the airway is open. But it also tells me there's a mental status issue. So think about that when you're, you're dealing with children. And moms are great at helping you interpret the cries. There's a different cry for different things. And mom can tell you if it's a normal cry or not a normal cry. So that's, that's one of the tools you're going to use is talking to the caregiver. When you re reassess vital signs, you need to keep documenting what you get. After three, you can establish a trend. So document multiple vital signs. With our, our cardiac monitors, we can set them to reassess blood pressure every five minutes or less. That'll give you the warning every time you see the blood pressure cuff go up, get a pulse, get the pulse oximetry, try to figure out what else is going on and reassess all your vital Recheck the pertinent parts of your history. Maybe their uh, memory changed. Maybe they uh, thought of something else they might, uh, that might help you in your assessment. So start asking questions. Ask about the chief complaint, if it's changed any. Use the uh, severity scale again to figure out if it's uh, getting better. Repeat your physical exam, checking anything you found the first time. Checking other things to see if your uh, symptoms have moved anywhere. Check all your interventions. Make sure that everything is working correctly. You're breathing for them correctly. Uh, the bleeding is still maintained, or the bleeding control is still maintained. Anything else you did, did for the patient is taken care of. Get down with them. Talk to them. Check. It shows the uh, paramedic checking the, uh, the 
band-aids they put on the arm to see if it's okay. You're also checking the distal pulses, the f sensation, making sure they can still feel everything distal to where you put the bandage. You don't want it to get too tight from swelling or anything like that. Repeat your assessment frequently there. Every five minutes at least, document, document, and document. Document any changes based on your treatments. Maybe you need to adjust what you do. Maybe what you thought would work the first time didn't work the first time. Now you got to do go to plan B or C. So think outside your box. Don't be afraid to say this didn't work. Move on to the next another option. And keep reassessing. Uh, document your vital signs. We say that uh, stable patients, you can uh, reassess every 15 minutes. Like I've mentioned in class many times, if they've called an ambulance, they're in the back of the ambulance, going to the hospital, I would treat them as unstable until you get to the hospital. Just every five minutes, reassess everything over and over. So for every stable patient, every 15 minutes, unstable every five minutes, or potentially unstable. So I, I, be safe. Do it every five. You're good with that. If you think the patient changed, Always go back to an ABCs. Do your primary assessment again. If the patient uh, starts not making sense when you're talking to them, go back and do your ABCs. Just always be aware of the ABC. And as always, if you have questions, write them down, bring them to class. Thanks a lot. Have a great night.